I went to the internet, as you would do, and I searched for trade post limit. <laughs> the second entry was penalty for trade post limit. Um, well, apparently there is no direct trade post limit penalty, beside one apparent one, where if your trade posts get destroyed anywhere, you can't immediately replace them. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, but it's not really much of an issue because, well, we're looking quite good in terms of trade poles. But we will have to invest heavily into them because there are just more to take care of. So let's cycle through these. And I go back. I'm pressing back. I can't. I can only go forward, but not back. <gasps> the game lies. Oh no. Okay, let's deal with these first. And that's it for now, spending wise. But as you can see, we have created a huge trade zone. And we have. 25 ports in this so if people could stop being at war all the time they have a good chance <clears throat> of building up now that we are facing a time of peace and prosperity hopefully This command of mine. I don't wish to imprison him. I don't wish to imprison you either. You know what? Why not marry the one? Oh. Okay, I thought you were lovers. Well, you're not. And we have to wait another five years to increase the centralization law. So we may hold more stuff. But for now, we just build up trade posts. And we go with the flat bonus first. Oh, we can get married. That girl actually grew up at some point. Got betrothed 15 years ago. Look at all these kids we got here, huh? Large army of exiles to try and get his own realm. Well, yeah, good luck indeed. So Sweden, what can we go to war over for you with? We try and get ourselves some cities here. Or we could try and catch ourselves some dukes, maybe. See if we can't catch ourselves a duke or two. Um, 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 um. Ideally, of course, right next to where we are. Right here. Duchy of Upland. Huh. Yeah, there are a bunch of Claymonts, but I remember there was something about these. They have to be something specific. I think I only can press strong claims. Here's Kerningrad, which this here. Well, let, let's invite this guy. Make him a special interest character. And he will get... Why not something in Venice? City of Jessolo. Okay, let's see. Can we press this claim? Doesn't look like him. 
There he is. Go for Kernugard, which oh is down here. Yeah, that's that's not ideal. Sorry, man. <laughs> I w I want to claim on to this thing here. Duchy of Upland. Better claim on anyway. Yeah, I think I can only press strong claims. Ah, there we go. This is the one. On him. Um, he'll become a monk. Enjoy that life. <clears throat> Right, let's see. Should be able now. And hmm. That would be a nice little piece in our crown, don't you think? Now he's quite weak. We are looking for a year of prosperity, but that's fine. Um, so what we want to do... Let's switch to our cities here. Bottom, Slite, Wiesburg, Jeslo, Venezia, Wispy. I actually don't really need to hold Venezia. I mean, it would be good, because we could build trade posts if we ever had any, but we don't have any it's a decent place to be because it has a bunch of cities but getting them all is kind of iffy let's grant this guy this city okay where is he grant london title the city of yesolo i got everything beneath it now he is a vassal of mine Holding, and we can go for Upland. Right then, shall we use our own troops here. Ah, uh, no, not our retinue, please. Our troops, thank you. Make sure we got the very best leaders. He's a flanker and a center leader. Well, that's that's great. He's good everywhere, basically. Are these guys part of the war? I don't know. There's the Swedish army, anyway. The ones we want to get. <clears throat> um, we'll hire someone to find out about our wife and she can think for herself now let's go crush this army there and you know what we're gonna take our retinue and siege a little bit here oh no 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 can just wait for them to come over the river. Good. And I don't have to deal with the river crossing. Ooh, we can. Okay, so the maid I hired to gain uh, my wife, Emma's confidence, has not found anything at all suspicious about her pregnancy. We can lay a trap for her. Let's try this. I, I never had this option, so let's see what happens. I planted a note in my wife's bedroom, instructing her to meet her love behind the smithy. I stood there waiting, hoping she wouldn't come, but she did. She confessed an affair with Chief Arthur Pomoroy. Well, this is high treason, clearly. I would like to request a divorce. No? Usually that would be enough to get a divorce. 
These guys get a siege master. So why am I fighting this other army? Because uh, there's currently a ducal conflict between the guy we're attacking or the area we're attacking and another one. And I don't want to lose that area. Captured a mayor. Plus we got to kill the Swedish army once more. We're letting him go there himself so he can try and get his stuff. Which one did I use for this army? That one. Okay. Losing some cargo here. It's okay. Garrison. And let's upgrade one more. Oh. There is... Some land army. That's okay. Oh no, and we've lost Brawny again. <laughs> Dangerous game we're playing here. Let's give her familiar faces. Can I imprison her for that? Yes. Once she is done with being pregnant, she will be imprisoned. These guys we will need to cut off from their invasion. Their siege. But first we want to siege a little bit ourselves. Because I don't want this to be piecemeal. I want to have everything. Elfen wären heilen, the Teutonic Order. Can I request a divorce now, please? Hello, she's unfaithful. We could dark divorce her. Which gives us some piety penalty. It might give us repercussion on our soul. Let's summon a familiar. And we want a cat familiar. Get plus three intrigue. Generally go with wolf because you also get a health, I think. And health is just... Can't prove the price on health, as they say. Oh, it is. Center leader in the center. And then we will go and siege this out. Because these should have very small garrisons. Well, partially anyway. Or we can just let this guy get his own stuff back. Let him do it that way. Unlikely to engage us. More likely to go and get this piece of land back. Abuse the office. Ugh, court chaplain, why? But we have a new court chaplain. Go. Convert. Oh, we have fatigue. Good sign. Oh! He's coming to take my piece. I am against this. I'll have to take care of that. And so I will. Just a moment. Ooh, we have converted a province. Very good. Let's rekindle the love with Gila. I want to break up just yet. We have gotten the gout, which is not good. Don't want to have gout. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Center leader. We'll take care of this little morsel of an army.
Yeah, we are going to ignore that woman's depression. For certain. Look at him. Cheeky bastard. We are not going to go to this weird ball. It's never been good for us in the past, and it will never start being good for us. I don't exactly know what happens with this land that is not occupied by me if we win this. Do we get it? Because his war Casa Spelli should just go away. And we should be able to get his stuff. Hochmeister Stefan of the Teutonic Order has started planning a campaign against the pagans of the north. For too long the pagan have been steadfast in their fight against the Christian and Hochmeister Stefan has decided to convert them with the sword while people of the north have started gathering in response, bellowing their battle hymns and demonic rituals unstoppable in their frenzy. Okay, buy the sword. So we could offer... Join them. Oh no, we ca could ask the Teutonics for help against someone up here. Huh. Okay. I'll have to check that out. Oh, time to do something about our palace. We have neglected that one. Get more light infantry and archers here. Definitely neglected that one. I've been just enjoying this. <laughs> Has been turbulent, to say the least. Okay, let's see. Offer peace. Ah, we got everything. Very good. Why did you keep this one city here? Crazy. Bring home our retinue. And stand these down. And this guy is he now? Yeah, he's a he's a grand mayor. That's pretty cool. But he did move his uh, headquarters to here. Did not get this city though. It's a shame. And we ate a huge, huge, huge chunk out of uh, Sweden there. So let's see. Northern Crusade target. You can ask the Teutons to target a pagan ruler for their northern campaign. Who would we even want to be targeted? Estonia or Lithuania? Probably Lithuania more. Prince Meana, King Treniotas of Lithuania, is a dangerous force to be reckoned with, and I agree with your assessment that he needs to be dealt with. My troops are ready to march towards the Lithuanian lands. We lose 200 piety. Forward men. Does that mean we're now in a crusade against them? The Northern Crusade. The Teutonics march towards Lithuanian lands to secure it for Christianity. The pagans have had too long to convert peacefully. Now they will be taken by the sword. Their first goal is to take out King Teniotas, the warlord of Lithuania. If they secure Lithuania, they will use it as a base to quell the rest of the Lithuanian lands. The blood of the pagans will flow through the rivers of the north. No mercy will be shown. Forward, men of God? Well, that's a terrible idea. That's a terrible idea. It's a really, really bad idea. How many troops do you have? 9,000. I mean, that's... That's not too little. Um... 
My main issue is that we have a bunch of trade posts out there, which they're probably going to destroy. So, um, where are the Teutonics anyway? He's leading troops over there. Okay, he's not too far off. So we should definitely do everything in our power to support him. So we even raise our vassal levies, which we rarely ever do. Collect all these tools here. Bring them together over here to reinforce our retinue. Let's split off our retinue. And bring in... No, we'll do by ship. Let's link up with our troops in Danzig. And then connect with the Teutonic Order. That's this. City of Möhre. I've never done a Northern Crusade. What did I die of? Oh, the gout. Darn it. You have a new heir. If your character dies now, you will play as Olaf Botsdenson. Alright. There's no more defensive pact against us, so that's neat. Um, Prince Mayor Arne has given up the ghost at 49. He died of complications to his own. Prince Mayor Georg II, a renowned man, dignitaries from far and wide will surely bow before him. Long live Prince Mayor Georg. Okay, let's pause real quick. <laughs> Reorganize our realm. Um, because that is what we need to do right now. Let's check. We do have a son. We do have an heir, but he is, uh, he's not great. Let's get a better heir. Designated heir. Who is among the options here? Holmger, our half-brother. Let's get Holmger as our designated heir. And he will also be our designated regent for the time being. State Inquisitor. Him, High Admiral, him though. High Judge, can't make him that too. Give these out to people who kinda are upset with us. Kid. Council. Probably want him as our court chaplain. Bard. Use our kinsman here. Him. Better relationship. Wasn't he good at anything? Where's my air? Well, we don't have to have our air here. Get Magna back in here. Well, it's better to have the Kinsman. Right, guys. Do jobs. You just hunt apostates at home. Right. So how much do we have to invest? Get this done. Alright, this should put us ahead for a little while. And what are we good at? Marshall. So should we take the war focus? We might. Ah, we already are brawny. 
Definitely not going to get strong out of it. Uh, we could also go for business. We have a trade route. Uh, and for a good while longer too. I mean, we are at war right now. Let's pick a war focus. An ambition to groom an heir. And we want our crown focus to be here. On the Northern Crusade. Let's see. Who is leading what here? This guy leads the center. We lead the flank. This guy leads this flank. And everyone else leads something too. Not our... Not our siege masters, no. I like to keep them safe. Let's attach. So we have a 15,000 strong army. All of my northern vassals will reinforce the home base. These guys will stand down again. They're not doing anything. They just exist. No money flow. Oof, would you look at that. Why are we losing again? Probably because one of the other ones matched me. Alright. First war of this crusade. Let's see how we fare. We haven't led any wars since we've started playing the Republic. We have participated in many, but we have never been an actual commander to one. I want this in my land too. But I also would like this in my land. Come to us though. Are there factions? Yes. Stop it. Out of the faction now. My wife good? Oh yeah, she was the one that was really expensive. But she's good enough anyway. Alright, so the first battle seems to be going well. Though the flank I was leading broke. What do you want to do? Join the Teutonic Order. I need you. Go. How could I deny troops right as they are needed? You're right, I could not. I would not. So this first war, this first battle was... Wow, what? Oh, we caught the guy. Let's see if the AI is capable of finishing this. <laughs> well, that was quick. Ooh, look at... Ooh, hello, hello, hello. To the esteemed Prince Mayor Georg II of Finland, the Teutonic Order thanks you for your aid throughout the war for Yatvinga. We have sent you a small gift to show our appreciation for your assistance. Hochmeister Stefan of the Teutonic State. It was the least that I could do. So we get a whole bunch of gold get an artifact and this guy is grateful to us that's cool what artifact did we get oh a saintly bone that's probably not good ah uh, uh, not great not terrible 
The weeping statue is much more important. Wait, 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 wait. We have the Swedish Crusader sword. And instead of wearing that, we've been wearing that all the time. Not this year. Look at that. That's crazy good. Can we write a book? No, we're too too stupid for that. We can stand down our ships and we can stand down all of our vassals. Them anymore. So the Teutonic Order, how how strong are you going to be now? We just pick more targets. Estonia? Who's the next one anyway? Now let's go for Estonia. Forward men! Are we here? No need to run around. Oh no, we're not we're not going to arrive on time, I fear. Glorious battle was done without us. Big big shame. So we'll sit next to here. Siege, I think. we get some war contribution going treated and she's quick she's a good girl war for Pruthania We haven't contributed anything yet. Oh no, we have contributed 36%. Contribute more. Wonder if we should follow them. How many ships do you have? Four thousand, and you? Two. Probably be fine, unless of course they come for us again, like they like to do. But look at little old Finland, being all big and brown. Oh, look. They just siege everything down. This is so insane. Oh, they don't give a flying air. They just siege this stuff down. Let's attach to them. That way we can't get caught out, weirdly. Alright, we have a god damn huge amount of money. Let us spend some of it. Definitely not all of it, but some of it. Going to be fine for now. Yes, there needn't be a defensive pact against us. Just running around in the host of a huge army that's just sieging down everything with one huge battering ram, basically. So who else needs to die? This guy.
I'm not going to s join another secret society in this playthrough. That that much is clear. That much is certain. Well, that was quick again. We have contributed some. I don't know exactly how we did that, but we did. That little bit of sieging we did, that can't have been it. Arne isn't exactly... Have a bribe, let me keep my trade post. No dude, I, I definitely need you, you can't go. Alright, so what did they get? What did I get? 700 gold, 150 piety, another artifact. Splint mail armor. Alright, so how about... Go there. Why do we lose gold and piety? I mean, I'm fine with losing piety, but gold? Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? What did they get though? It doesn't look like they gained any land. What happened? We didn't gain any land either, so that's... Not what happened. No idea what that was about now. We don't have any du jour holdings yet. Ooh, technology. Trade practices, finally. Let us do this. We can have more trade posts. A whole whopping 15 is what we can have now, if only we put our mind to it. People who want to kill this man. There's a lot of people who would be willing. Oh, eight. That one. That one. Are you kidding me? Troops stand down, please. What? What? Garrison three. Jumping through these here. Okay, I also want to upgrade a little bit on my cities that I own. My castles and everything. Ooh, trade tax income. Definitely upgrade the port first. That's expensive, but worthwhile. How much money do we earn currently? Five gold. I, don't know, I feel I should earn much more with all the trade posts that we have. <laughs> no. No, I'm not giving away Venice. Fine. I I got that for myself. It was a present a present for my own sake. Nobles are really why are you You don't have to just pay tax? Let's shift this around a bit. I know I wanted to make different laws, but Sure, let's move on our pregnant wife. My half sister, sure. So I want to expand the retinue a little bit more. 
What should we have? Mainly defensive. Probably get some horses in here. A thousand? Sound good. Can I afford it? Yeah. A thousand cavalry. Oh no, we can be ambitious. Good trait to have. Don't need to lead troops in peace. Just our own holdings could be 12,000 troops thanks to the high martial skill we have here right now. What is this? Duchy of Skana. Seize a bunch of cities from them. What happened to Denmark? Broke apart a little bit, didn't you? Duchy of Sieland. Duchy of Skana. Only a strong claim on Lolland. I mean, we could have a bunch of smaller wars here. Smaller things. What do you add war over? Ah, uh, here revocating, need revoking something at home. What can we do with you? Could lay claim to Königrad, but I think that's just an empty duchy. Oh no, it might actually have this in it. The rest are just baronies. Could claim that. Oh yes. Well, don't mind if we do miss the Sweden. Do not mind if we do. These are going to be expensive. How expensive are these? 30 gold. White. Are we still earning? Yes. Split them. Siege leader there, and we will just lead over there. Yeah. Now, stop trying to leave for the holy orders, you silly boy. Let us teach our friend here the cavalry tactics, which we have mastered before. Excellent. Norway is facing a revolt. Who can we imprison? Ah, oh, look, there are some patricians in there. Yeah, you run away. And the plots that we can end. Are we trying to kill the guy in the in the prison? Yeah.
I did see Swedish troops meandering around on there. They're probably going to try and link up in north. Yeah, I'm not paying you gold. I don't... I'm not going to pay any of you gold. I'm fine with people knowing what you're doing. I want them to know. Our steward is dead. Come on, Olav. One more time for old time's sake. Be our steward. So Sweden is having ships moving about and around. I wonder where they will send their troops. They're involved in several problematic battles right now. Oh, would you look at that? Fortuitous, so we can actually engage with them. Oh, our half brother found a weird wife. Yeah, you don't get away. I will lead personally. Giving our troops ever more morale. Would you look at that flank? Posing a true threat to us. Those men are holding out admirably. I will commend them once the battle is done. Where is he going? This way. And south. He can stay for the night, but that's it. Don't wish to have beggars at our court. Be they noble or else... these huge heathen armies battling it out our wife's pregnant good stuff a long episode again but you know all the northern crusading does beg quality time being spent with our troops here Crossbow workshop has been built at home in the palace. Let's work on upgrading this further. And I see you around next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.